Initiating the proceedings is a distinguished professor of chemistry and Deepak Parekh Institute Chair Professor, IIT Madras, Professor T. Pradeep. He is one of the pioneering nanotechnology experts who was named as one of the top 100 outstanding thinkers and innovators by the Asian Scientist Magazine. I request you, sir, to deliver the welcome address. Welcome to IIT Madras. My greetings to you on the world water day. Let me first of all welcome all of you to this beautiful place at a very short notice. Let me first welcome uh, our secretary of the Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation, Mr. Parameshwaran Iyer, uh, who has supported this event enthusiastically. Uh, let me welcome the Joint Secretary, Mrs. Viratha, who continued pushing this activity and finally brought this to reality. Let me welcome Madam Ranjita. Is she here? She is not here. Let me also welcome uh, Mr. D. Rajeshekar, as well as Mr. Muralitharan, for their painstaking efforts which made this possible. Let me welcome Nicholas. Uh, as Osbert and Manish uh, Vasuja and their colleagues at UNICEF who supported this uh, enthusiastically. Let me welcome all of you, academics, administrators, engineers, water veterans, uh, startups, students who have accepted my invitation instantaneously. I'm thankful to the ministry for inviting several resource persons and making sure that they participated in this event. All of you, uh, it, has, it has become possible uh, because of my great colleagues. In fact, I am my colleagues. <laughs> Let me uh, tell you a few things about water, why I'm passionate about it. Water is uh, the reason for, for us to be here on this planet. The simple triatomic molecule has been the most enigmatic structure known to scientists. In the history of science, if you were to go back uh, to 1900s, in 1938, a great scientist, Linus Pauling, wrote a book, which incidentally is the most celebrated book of the 20th century. Not any of the fiction that you are used to. It is the nature of the chemical bond that was the most celebrated book of the last century. And in that book, Linus Pauling, who got two Nobel Prizes, wrote in some, somewhere around 464 or so page that water is one simple substance that has not been understood adequately. In fact, that uh, statement is valid even today. <clears throat> um, while water is central to us, water was delivered from the space to us, and that water is the reason for all of us to live, but that water is getting increasingly threatened. Carl Sagan, some years ago, said that the nitrogen in our DNA, the calcium in our teeth, the iron in our blood, the carbon in our apple pies were made in the interiors of collapsing stars. We are made of star stuff. While we are made of star stuff, water is made of star stuff, we only know one way to treat it. That is, treat it and pollute it. But it is important that this water is delivered to the next generation so that the planet is safe. This becomes even more important if you realize that uh, just in the last two weeks or three weeks ago in science, there was an article which said that 83% of freshwater species have declined during 1970 to 2018. 
83% have declined. And at this rate, only homo sapiens will remain. So that being said, we have a great responsibility. It is in this, re you know, because of this that we are having this meeting. And I am particularly interested in asking this question, that is it possible that water can drive economies? I wrote an article about it uh, some weeks ago. In cities such as Bangalore and Chennai and Hyderabad, we know that data, data are driving the economies. Is it possible that water can drive economies? That would mean new businesses, new technologies, new entrepreneurs, new kind of activities. In fact, I can discuss with you whether it is indeed possible or not. India has a lot to do. In fact, everything that we do has a great global relevance. That's what we do in this most happening place. I do not have much time, therefore I will not deal with it uh, extensively. I wrote an introductory, uh, you know, a few pages, but I'm not going through uh, any of these content. Please enjoy this meeting. Get to know more about uh, water and also make new friends for the benefit of this triatomic molecule. Let me close by saying the following. Uh, we are here because of this great institution. Here in this 250 hectares of greenery, one word can make things happen. For that, let me thank my dear director, Bhaskar, who is simply outstanding. Let me close by saying that we have a timer kept here. If you are uh, within the time allotted to you, you will be certain that heaven is reserved for you. In case you cross it, you know what is waiting. Thank you.